Hello, today I want to have a quick review of Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G. So this is uh, probably a two years old phone, but I think this is still feels like a flagship device. It's a very high-end device, even for today use. I'm going to show you why. First thing first, the display for Samsung is just unbelievable. It's just very bright and it's very pleasing to the eyes. If you use a flagship device from Samsung before, I guess you probably you don't want other phones anymore. Uh, probably that's one of the things that people love Samsung. First is the display and the second, I think, the camera but for this device that I bought this is a not a brand new this is a refurbished I don't know why uh, there is a flaw on this device when you take a picture it's just showing you very blurry like on the side and the side and it's just focus on the person probably but that everything else looks blurry it's not only blurry but it's um, like white is like uh, probably it was changed to other camera by the sellers I don't know since I bought it refurbished so you have to make sure be careful with the cameras probably it's not really original like the one i have but everything else uh, i'll show you here uh, the device itself it's got a i think it's still got a micro sd here this is sim card here and you can put micro sd and i can show you show you on the bottom side that's a microphone it's a USB-C and that's the placing for yeah, the pen so if you like drawing and making notes this is still the best device to have uh, on the side this is the up and down volume on and off button and on the left hand side is nothing on the back it feels like plastic or glass and the cameras here and it's about 200 grams phone uh, I think it's quite heavy but you cannot help it because you need to put a big battery here it's about 4500 milliamps per hour i think for the battery and this is the fingerprint it's quite fast i don't really like a on display fingerprint actually but uh, yeah that's fast enough you got a uh, something like face id it's not called face, face ID for Android, something like that. Uh, face recognition, I think. Yeah. What else I have to show you here? The pen, the batteries, very long. You can take uh, a very long hours to play with the phone and still pretty good what else i can show you so yeah if you have found a device probably around 500 dollars in australia i think it's still a good buy that for 256 gigabyte uh, storage mm, this one i think is a, an exynos and it's got 8 gigabyte memory 
I don't know, if you are not playing games, I think you can hardly notice any flaw at all for the phones. So yeah, it is just amazing phone. Uh, this is uh, going up to Android 12 with 4.1 one UI. I think that's probably the highest you can get. That's the latest. I don't know if you will get 5.0 one UI or Android 13. I don't think so. Yeah, uh, I think that's all I need to show you. I love this phone other than the flaw of the camera. I think I'm just going to return this phone because of the camera. Yeah. This is very, very nice phone. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye.